What's up guys, this is Andy with Ultima Eye Device Vids. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to speed up your device on iOS 9. And it's kinda of ironic that I'm making this video because one of the things that Apple talks about when they first announced iOS 9 was the fact that it was gonna speed up some of the older devices, and it definitely does. However, whenever Apple you know, releases any type of major iOS, there's always gonna be some instances in which the operating system is slower, but of course, again, with iOS 9, there are many instances in which it's faster. But again, for those of you guys who are still struggling with speed issues on iOS 9, again, more so with some of the older devices, but you know, they still sometimes happen on newer devices. This video is going to show you guys, again, how to make the most out of your device and how to make it the quickest that it can be. With that being said, let's jump right in. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into settings on our device and we're going to go to general accessibility and then you're going to go ahead and enable reduce motion so go ahead and toggle this on what this is going to do is it's going to disable the parallax effect on your home screen when you tilt your device and have the icons and the wallpaper move it's going to completely disable that and everything's going to be still on your home screen ios has to detect when you tilt your device and it has to move all the icons and the wallpaper and you know that could significantly slow down your device so this could definitely help it also replaces the zooming animation when you open and close apps with these subtle fade animations and that could help as well and next we want to go back to the accessibility section then we're going to go into increase contrast and in here you want to enable reduce transparency basically what this is going to do is it's going to prevent certain areas of ios from taking in the background and blurring it for example control center notification center in the dock as you can see control center is kind of darkish it has that dark tint if I turn off reduce transparency, as you can see, it's taking in the background of the settings app, which is white, and again, it's blurring that in. That does, you know, drain your speed. As you can see here on the home screen, you can see all the colorful icons being blurred behind control center. If I enable reduce transparency, you'll see that, as you can see, it doesn't blur all the colors anymore. And that definitely speeds things up. And now we're going to go back to the general section, and then we're going to go into spotlight search. And in here, what you want to do is you want to disable as many of these toggles as possible. And basically what these toggles are, are things that spotlight search is searching when you start typing. And that could significantly lag up your device if you have things there that you don't need. Not just spotlight search, your entire device's experience could be hindered if you have too many things enabled. Because you know, it has to be ready to search all these areas. So just go ahead and disable as many of these as you can. If you don't use spotlight search at all like I do, just go ahead and disable everything. Because again, it's going to make a big difference in terms of speed. And now we're going to go into background app refresh and you can find that in the general section of settings now what background app refresh does is it basically constantly refreshes your applications in the background so when you open up the app your content is ready and as you can see the list of applications here that's for the applications that it takes an effect for however as i know it's convenient but it definitely slows down your device significantly so go through that list there disable applications that you don't need to be refreshing and if you're like me just disable the entire thing because i never need it anyways if the storage on your device is full or it's almost full, that could have a significant effect on your device's speed. You know, if that is the case, you want to make sure you delete items, so you know, sync them up to your computer if it's photos or anything like that, and then once they're synced up, you could delete them on your device. Because again, it could significantly slow down your device if it's packed, you know, with all kinds of stuff on it, whether it be applications, photos, pretty much anything. And of course, you could check your storage if you go into settings on your device, general, and then about. All you need to do is look at available, and of course, there's the capacity of your device as well. So you can, you know, gauge how much storage you've used, you know, right there. And that just about wraps it up. I hope you guys were able to speed up your device on iOS 9 using these tips. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos on iOS 9, the upcoming iPhone 6S, and pretty much anything else iDevice related. Thanks for watching. Peace out.